What is this instrument and why is it so incredibly amazing? Let's find out. So this is called a lyre or lyre harp and it is an ancient instrument with a magnificent, peaceful, relaxing and beautiful sound. It has been used in many cultures around the world for thousands of years, but it is mainly associated with ancient Greece. It is what is called an open string instrument, meaning there is nothing behind the strings here to push them against, uh, so no fretboard, and compared to the guitar, for example, which has a fretboard with frets, instead each string is its own note. This creates a very open and rich sound. And the strings are laid out in a very simple way, starting with the lowest on one side, on this particular lyre, this is G3, and then going up note by note for each string, until you get to the highest string on the opposite side here, which on my lyre is A5, because this is a 16 string lyre. So another big difference is that a traditional lyre like this is what is called a diatonic instrument. And that basically means that the strings are tuned to a specific scale in most cases, it will be tuned to the white keys of a piano keyboard, meaning that it will play naturally in C major and the relative A minor scale. And you can see this from the note names from the top here. That is the standard tuning. The advantage of this is that it is easy to start playing melodies, harmonies, chords, arpeggios, glissandos, etc. on the lyre. However, there is a downside as well, which is that you will not be able to play accidentals on your lyre. An accidental is a note that goes outside of the scale and key of the particular song you want to play. Basically, you want to choose any songs that stick to the notes of whatever scale and key it is written in. This brings us to the tuning of a lyre, because even though the lyre is most commonly tuned to C major or A minor, meaning like all the white keys on a piano keyboard, you can in fact tune any string up or down a half step to get a different scale. Let's say you play a song written in D minor and you want to play it on your lyre. Well, D minor has one black key, which is uh, B flat. So what you do is you take all the notes labeled B on your lyre, like here, B3 and B4, and then you tune them down so they are in B flat. And then your lyre will naturally play in the D minor scale. There are a lot of different designs of the lyre in various shapes, wood, colors, etc. But most importantly, they come in different amount of strings. I have seen lyres with everything from seven strings all the way to 21 strings and beyond. The more strings you have, the more range of notes you will be able to play. But the downside is, of course, that you have to tune more strings, which is tedious, I will not lie. But I have a lyre with 16 strings, and I think that is a good compromise. I would not personally want fewer strings than this, because with too few strings, there are songs and tunes that will be out of range for your lyre. So the lyre is simply an amazing, relaxing and a beautiful instrument, perfect for beginners who never played an instrument because it is so easy to learn and to play it, but also incredible for experienced musicians who want to expand their sound palette and add that relaxing, rich and open sound that the lyre is famous for. So I ask you now, my fellow musical friend, 
Are you ready to learn how to play these ancient, magical and almost heavenly sounding instrument called a lyre?